U.S. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said on Friday the U.S. Congress will work on another coronavirus relief bill, with health care topping the list of priorities. McConnell's comments, in an interview with the Associated Press, signaled leading Republicans were willing to join Democrats in working on what would be a fourth bill responding to the pandemic, which has taken over 6,000 lives in the United States, with over 25 percent in New York City L1 and 2 BROVR. Infections in the United States account for about 24 percent of the more than 1 million cases worldwide. Previously McConnell had shown little interest in joining Democratic House Speaker Nancy Pelosi in working on another coronavirus measure, saying lawmakers should wait to see whether more aid is needed after the Trump administration implements the three response bills already passed by Congress, including an unprecedented $2.3 trillion package signed into law on March 27. There will be a next measure, McConnell told the AP. He said it should be more a targeted response to what we got wrong and what we didn't do enough for, and at the top of the list there would have to be the health care part of it. On Friday morning Pelosi had also signaled a shift in her priorities for the next phase of coronavirus legislation. She said it was important to update the previous measure's focus on economic relief, instead of emphasizing investments in infrastructure that she had stressed earlier in the week. While I'm very much in favor of doing some things we need do to meet the infrastructure, needs, clean water, more broadband, and the rest of that, that may have to be for a bill beyond this, Pelosi told CNBC. She said lawmakers should be trying to add to over $350 billion for small businesses in already passed coronavirus legislation, as well as making more direct payments to individuals and extending unemployment benefits to six months instead of 4L1 and 2BROZ6. McConnell did say he did not want to rush into another bill until lawmakers can assess how the just passed legislation is working. We can't sustain economically this happening again. We've got to solve the health part of it, which means not only treatment but vaccines, McConnell told the AP. Ex-White House candidate Buttigieg forms PAC to support forward-thinking Democrats Pete Buttigieg, the former mayor of South Bend, Indiana, whose presidential campaign became a top fundraiser in the crowded Democratic primary, is forming a political action committee aimed at creating a new pipeline of leaders for the party, the campaign said on Friday. The formation of the PAC, called Win the Era, will focus on down-ballot races and represents the former White House hopeful's first steps in outlining his post-campaign future. The work of electing a forward-thinking generation of Democratic candidates never ends. Pete will do his part by building and leading the Win the Era PAC as we get closer to the November election, campaign spokeswoman Liz Smith said in a statement on Friday. Buttigieg, 38 wrote a message of fresh-faced optimism to a narrow victory in the Iowa caucuses and second-place finish in New Hampshire before his lack of popularity among minority voters forced him out of the race. After dropping out, he endorsed former Vice President Joe Biden, who now leads the delegate race for the Democratic nomination over U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont. The contest to decide a challenger for President Donald Trump in November has mostly been stalled by the new coronavirus outbreak. Buttigieg, whose mayoral term in South Bend, Indiana, ended on January 1, is viewed by many as a rising star in the Democratic Party. Still, his future political path is not clear, particularly in Republican-dominated Indiana. He was among the top fundraisers in the 2020 Democratic presidential contest, raising more than $100 million by cobbling together support from traditional sources, like Wall Street and the tech industry, with grassroots donations.